This is Paladin Tristan. If you're listening to this, then you've made it through the Presidential Metro, and Adams Air Force Base is all that stands in your way. Our scouts report that the fire controls for the orbital missile satellite are located in the main tower of the Enclave mobile platform. The only way into the platform is by way of a ramp that lowers from a watch post the Enclave set up in the old air traffic control tower. When you opened the crate, it triggered a beacon. We'll pick up the signal and start the assault to cover your entry. Good luck, and Godspeed.
Oh man, don't hurt me. I just work here. I uh, work on the robots. I fix them up. I saw what you did before you got in the base. You're not gonna hurt me, are you? Oh, thank goodness. I'm Stiggs. Nice to meet you. Man, I'm glad you realize I'm not one of the bad guys. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Well, just above us is a Deathclaw research facility. Most of the Deathclaws are out fighting, but there might be one or two left. There are also a bunch of robots in the facility, and they're all controlled through the mainframe. There are also some military types left, but not nearly as many as there used to be. Well, the satellite tower is right on top of the base. I'm sure you saw it before you came in. You're going to have to make it to the central control area before you can get on top of the launch platform. Once you're on top of the platform, you're probably going to have to make your way past a bunch of soldiers before you get to the tower. I've been trying to get out of here for a while. See, I've done things for the Enclave. Things I can't say I'm proud of. But a man's got to eat. When the Enclave picked me up, I was starving and suffering from radiation poisoning. I felt I owed him. Now. Now it's time to leave. You'll make a great distraction while I make off with a few robots and supplies. I help you, and you help me. It was nice meeting you, but I have to get while the getting's good. Maybe I'll see you around. Come on, Sparky. Hoover, let's go.
Surprised to see me? Well, we both have the pride to thank for that. Without them, we'd both be dead. But enough about me. You've done one hell of an outstanding job out here, soldier. A hell of a job. Now it's time to do my job, and to get your ass onto this vertebrate before it goes up like a nuke. Quickly, just get on board before those missiles level this place.
Don't worry about the remainder of the Enclave forces, we'll mop up the rest. When I first met you some time ago, I was leery of your motivations, and even more concerned with your methods. At the battle for Project Purity, you proved yourself, and any doubt that I had about you dissipated on that day. Now with the Enclave in ruins, and with you to thank for it, I am almost at a complete loss for words. I feel proud to call you one of our own. And I promise that what you've done here today will be recorded by our scribes as an historic moment. On behalf of the Brotherhood of Steel, and on behalf of the free people of this wasteland, I thank you. Well, I suppose we have you to thank for the sudden influx of equipment pouring in from the ruins you left behind at Adams Air Force Base. These items will help keep us one step ahead of our enemies in the Wasteland and hopefully start my reconstruction effort. Mark my words, Prime will walk again. It may take months or even years, but we'll get him back together. If you're inclined to help us with that effort, just let me know. From the amount of equipment pouring in, I'd say, if we didn't destroy them, <laughs> we certainly threw a major wrench into their works. I've been amazingly busy ever since we began clashing with the Enclave. All their technology is amazing. It's going to take me years to sift through the wreckage of their mobile platform alone. I suppose we have you to thank for that. Goodbye. Please come back if you find anything interesting. <laughs> I told those bastards you could do it. Oh, there were doubters inside the Citadel to be certain, but Lyons was behind you all the way, and that was good enough for me. I can't think of a better compliment but to simply say the Brotherhood would be almost nothing without you. Thank you. From all of us. When I first saw you long ago in that alley in Chevy Chase, I thought you were just some trashy wastelander. I'm glad I was wrong. My father thinks the world of you, and so do I. If things were different, maybe we could have had time to become friends. Anyway, I wish you the best of luck, and I hope you stick around for a while. We need people like you to help us finish what we started here. <laughs>